And welcome back into the weather cast of our program. As you can see, we're getting right to the almanac. Mike is off for the all this week, actually, so I'll be subbing in for him. Our recent high was actually 63 degrees, not 73 degrees. Recent low, 52. Our record high set in 1940, 89 degrees. Record low, 52, set in 1959. The sunrise at 4.03 a.m., sunset at 11.50 p.m., giving us 19 hours and 47 minutes. It's an additional loss of 5 to 6 minutes over yesterday. And the e winds are out of the east 5 to 15 miles per hour. Taking a look at our Alaska satellite, not much to see here in the interior. There is a kind of a little storm system to the north of us uh, affecting Fort Yukon, slowly making its way down south. Possibly see some showers from that, but nothing really drenching. Uh, also, there's a storm system off the Gulf of Alaska that is affecting places like Kodiak and the Anchorage Bowl area as well. But other than that, looking pretty nice around the state today, as you can see. Denali Park getting some rain too as well. Barrow, 43 degrees for a high. Nome, 55 degrees. Bethel, kind of toasty for Bethel, 68 degrees. And of course on the Panhandle, Juneau and Ketchikan checking in the low 60s and rain spotted there as well. Let's go ahead and take a look down at the lower 48, see what we can see. Gorgeous day in Seattle, 80 degrees. And then it's just a uh, just gorgeous in Las Vegas right about now, 89 degrees. But I wouldn't want to be in Phoenix with 102. Uh, as you can see, not much to see in the interior or the uh, southern and plain states. Dallas checking in with 99 degrees, one shy of the, hundred di uh, the three digit. <laughs> and then a storm system affecting the Louisiana Gulf of Mexico area. 91 checking in for New Orleans, Miami, 90 degrees. That's where I'd like to be, even with the rain. Let's go ahead and take a look and put look at their satellite and radar system. Pretty nominal kind of summer patterns you're seeing right there, especially crossing over into those plain states. Like I said, those uh, storm systems sit there and percolate over the Rockies until they set off in late evening and then affect the, the plain states there as well. So more of that to come. As you can see, forecast for late this week, spotty thunderstorms across uh, the plain states and then some more thunderstorms affecting the uh, southeast there. And then uh, not too terrible for the West Coast. Pleasant, as they say right there on that graphic. So we'll take their word for it. Let's go ahead and take a look at tomorrow's forecast, or today's forecast for tomorrow, starting up north. As you can see, fog for Barrow, 48 degrees. Fort Yukon, thunderstorm, 69 degrees. And Nome, 57. Uh, in the interior here, we might see some, some of that sprinkle as well. Scattered showers across most of the region and temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Taking a look further south we go, actually. Southeast, Juno, 70 degrees and rain. Ketchikan, 62 showers as well. What's the difference between rain and showers? I'm not sure. <laughs> but there is a mixed bag of weather to the southwest. Bethel, 64 degrees. Cold Bay, 56. Kodiak checking in with 70 degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look into the south central area. Anchorage, 74 degrees. Getting up there. Valdez, the same. And Homer, 65 degrees. Mostly sunny in that region. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our short range forecast for the overnight. We'll get down to 51 degrees. Isolated showers expected through the night. As you can see tomorrow, rain and possibly some thunderstorms possible by afternoon. We'll just have to take it as it comes. And taking a look at our extended outlook through the work week. Temperatures in the mid-70s, uh, overnight lows in the 50s, and that's where it's going to stay like a broken record.